What's going on guys, Orzio here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new team of the season, play SBC card to a review and it is going to be Gavardio. Now I'm pretty sure that is how you pronounce it. If I am pronouncing it wrong, I am very sorry, but he looks like an unreal card. He has got 92 pace with 85 dribbling, 90 defending, 93 physicals with 85 passing. He's a six foot one player as well, which means that reach in that center back position is going to be very nice to have. He's got high, high work rates, which is something you don't really see that often in that center back position. And he also has got three star skill moves with a four star weak foot as well. Now the chem style, I feel like the most popular chem style is going to be the anchor chem style, but I know some people are going to go for their shadow chem style. And I understand giving him maxed out pace is going to be ridiculous, but does he need it? That's what you have to ask yourself. Does he need it? I don't think he needs it. I feel like the Anchor Chem Soul giving him 96 acceleration and 98 sprint speed is going to be more than enough. But once again, if you want to go for the Shadow Chem Soul, go ahead and do it. Now, the passing stats on this card, for a centre-back, they look unreal. It looks like he's going to be like a ball-playing centre-back as well. A player that can go forward a little bit. And if you see the player wide open on the other side, you 100% go for it because you know it's going to get there with that 90 long passing. His dribbling stats... They look amazing. Just straight up amazing. He has got 86 agility, 86 balance, 94 reactions, 86 ball control, not, not 90, sorry, 81 dribbling with 93 composure. Those dribbling stats in a center back position, oh yeah, that is going to be very nice to work with. Now his defensive stats, 96 interceptions, 88 heading accuracy, 98 defensive awareness, 99 standing tackling with 99 slide tackling. I'm expecting him to be a defensive beast and the physicals with the anger chem style that looks like a joke. He has got 99 jumping with 91 stamina. So you know he's going to be catching up to those fast players throughout the whole of their game. He also has got 99 strength as well with 96 aggression. The physicals, yeah, they're stupid. Has he got any traits? He has. He's got the power header trait as well. Now the links. The, the club he plays for, obviously, is really solid. Like, you can link him up with Klosterman. You can link him up with Nkunku, right? The nationality isn't amazing. Like, yeah, you can link him up with someone like Modric, but I can't really think of any, like, Croatian players in this game that you can also link him up with. Surely I'm forgetting about a few, right? Surely. But yeah, at the top of my head, I only can think of uh, I only can think of Modric. So yeah, the nationality isn't like the French nationality or the Portuguese nationality when it comes down to links in this game, but it still is pretty decent. And the club he plays for is uh, very, very good. Now positions, one position and one position only. It is going to be that centre-back position in a 4-4-2 formation. Let's get into the games and let's see how good Gavardio is going to be. I'm going to push towards him here. He might try to go round me. Look at the transition speed. Oh, okay. Now that is not a good way to start off the review, is it? He put it under the legs. No, the transition speed there was very good. It's just, how unlucky is that? Is he going to come up for the corner? He does. All right, let's go ahead and select him. He's up against Virgil van Dijk, which is going to be a bit tough. But we are going to go towards a near post here. Oh, no, he's up against Hullet. Go on. He's jumping there. Was very good. And we are not going to get another corner there. I thought it came off that player in front of him. So we would get another corner. Kind of unlucky. Is he going to go for a free ball? He might go for it. There you go. That's not going to happen against Gavardi. Or you guys know the pace on this card. Yeah. Players like Mbappe, I don't really feel like he's going to get in behind that easy. Extra pass up maybe. There you go. Good step. Shield off Mbappe there with your strength. Go for a ball roll. Let's go for this. Over top through ball. All the way on the other side. And it's not going to go towards Rivaldo. It was a good tackle and a good step from him though. But yeah, the pass was poor. I'm going to send Rivaldo on a run. Let's see if this is going to work. Go for a ball roll. That's decent. He's onside as well. Yeah, that's more like it. That's the pass I'm expecting from him. Can we get a goal here? Manual switch into Mane. Good scoop. Nice turn. Should be a goal. There you go. I kind of want to go back stick here, but I'm getting marked by Varane. So I have to like try and get away from him because I really doubt Gavardio is going to beat Varane up in the air. So let's see if we can just run onto it. Come on, lock on. No, Deli Ali, Deli Ali won it that time. That's the thing, right? Like his jumping ability is amazing. And if he gets onto the header, because he's got the power header trait, it will be a solid header. It's just, he's six foot one. So players like Varane, players like Deli Ali as well, are most likely going to beat him up in the air. Get that ball, Alfonso Davis. No way we don't come out with that. But there you go. Gavardi was there to clear it up. Go for a few uh, dribbles. He definitely does feel nice on the ball. Like, look how close he keeps that ball to his feet. He's not, like, extremely, extremely agile. But you can definitely tell his dribbling ability for a centre-back is nice to work with. I'm just going to push towards this because I believe he is going to go for a finesse shot. And apparently the slide tackle went the other way. But we still came out with a ball. 
I reckon he's going to go for a cut in. There you go. That's the cut in we've been looking for. That's a decent tackle, but nothing amazing. But he does well to get back onto him and actually put in that, uh, put in that nice block. He's going to go for a through ball, right? Yeah. Gavardi, oh, come on. Use that pace. Get in front of Dakar. Nice. Good tackle. Didn't get in front of him. That's where maybe the Shadow Chemstar would have been nice so he can get in front of that player and just easily hold him off. But he does still put in a very good tackle. That's a good turn. I need to get Gavardi to come over to help out Sule a little bit. That's a good ball roll scoop turn. But we do come out of it. I was panicking a little bit because I thought we was not going to get the rebound there. But he does well to just shield off. Uh, I think it was Wilfred Zaha. Gavardi, oh, please. This is like the third time now I'm trying to cross the ball to him. He's won it once. Go on. No. I red timed it. But like he didn't even get onto the header anyway, unfortunately. Let's flick this. Decent. No, I wanted to see if I could go for a long shot. Hullet is making a run up top, but Cavadios came out wide. He's going to go for that cutback. He's going to try to go down the line, and he doesn't use his strength there to hold him off. I'm definitely noticing he doesn't use his strength as often as I would like. So I definitely feel like the Shadow Chem style might be the way to go. He's going to pass through the middle. He does try to pass through the middle, but look at that strength. Referee, red card as well. Thank you. The strength to just hold off, I believe it's... Uh, who was it actually? I'm not sure who it was. He was just holding off that player really nicely and didn't allow him to get in front and this guy ends up leaving. Oh, turn there, Chamberlain. There you go. Play it into the middle. Nice pass. Good touch as well. Just keeping it calm. Nice acceleration and play that over to Modest. And look at that for a pass. And I screwed it. I saw him push out a keeper. So I thought maybe going for a chip would be perfect there. But look how good the pass was round the corner and everything. I see Deli Ali making that run and he has gone for a through ball. Look at that. There you go. Look at the pace to catch up and just cover that area. And uh, yeah, he does take that touch really well as well. Passing through the gap. He does make a little bit of movement going forward. That's something I am noticing. Like you can see the high attacking work rate. He doesn't just like stick into that center back position. When I need him to go forward a little bit, like there's like a, let's say an open space just in front of him. He definitely will make that run. This guy's got Varane. He's got Hullet. So winning a header against this guy is going to be a little bit of an issue. And he's moved him towards the near post. Let's go back stick. Come on. Win that. This is, oh my. All right. That's more like it. He was up against Varane as well, but Varane just didn't challenge. So he had a wide open header, back stick. He's going to burst through the middle. He is. I'm just going to step there. He steps really, really nicely. And look at the pace. Look at the pace through the middle. I just couldn't get it past him though. I have switched him to a uh, Shadow Chem style, by the way, because I felt like it's just going to be better for him because I didn't really see him get into a lot of like shoulder to shoulder situations. So he couldn't really use that 99 strength. And I felt like it was just rather off. I, I just rather off give him that extra pace so he can catch up to literally everyone. He surely goes for a cutback. There you go. Step there a little bit. Nice. Good interception. Possession-based interception as well. Sticks to his feet. Good turn. A nice driven pass through the middle. I'm going to step towards there because that is a bad touch. And look at the strength coming into play. Nice turn as well. Let's go for it. Switch all the way over. Perfect pass again. That's a good through ball. Once again, just stepping out there. Using that strength to body him off. Yeah, the Shadow Chem Soul 100% is the way to go. He gets out to players. Oh my God. He gets out to players so much quicker. So much, so much quicker. And it allows him to use that strength way more often as well because he gets out to play, out to the player quicker. He might go for a through ball there. I don't really want to push towards him because of that play in the middle. I reckon he's going to go for a through ball. There you go. Just patient play there. Beautiful interception again. Possession based. Go for a few turns. That's a nice turn. We'll roll that. Play it down the line. I should have overtop through it. 100% I should have. He's going to play that. He does play that. That was like a bad touch. I could have stepped there. But I might as well step into that lane because I saw that pass coming. Accelerate into the space again. He's so good at that. Just picking up the ball through like an interception and just like going through those uh, through those spaces. That's something you can do with him, which you can't really do with a player like Sule because of his dribbling ability. I want another goal so badly with him. His first goal was nice. Can we score a second? I mean, he got onto it. He got up there. It's just, yeah, the header wasn't anything amazing. He might go for a through ball and Kunkel there. There you go. We're just going to come over, help out Sule a little bit. And again, getting out to the player disgustingly quick and putting in a solid tackle. Go for the switch here with the four-star weak foot and it's perfect. The fact that he's got a four-star weak foot as well is like really nice because it allows me to turn, to turn either side. It's not like he's got a two-star weak foot and I'm forced to only pass on that left foot. He's going to play that. He does play that. Son, he's just going to try to accelerate. Is he going to keep running? 
I reckon he's going to try to go through the outside. Look at the transition speed, by the way. You see how good it is going left and right? We re we're reading him on the left side there. We're reading him on the inside there as well. And it's just so, so nice to work with, knowing that he's that quick at just transitioning. So it is time to give my final thoughts on the card. We ended up playing five games with Confordial, and we scored one goal in those five games. I'm kind of surprised we even got a goal, because I'm pretty sure we matched up against Varane every game. And you guys know, beating Varane up in the air, yeah, that's always going to be a struggle. Now, the first thing I do want to talk about is the pace on this card. I could not believe the difference between the pace with the Shadow Chem style applied and the Anchor. Could not believe it. The Shadow Chem style is levels above the Anchor. Like, the Anchor Chem style on this card with the pace is nice. He still gets out the players quite quickly. He still catches up the players as well. But as soon as you apply the Shadow Chem style, that's it. He's getting out the players way quicker. And he's not just catching up to the player. He's getting in front of the player and just coming out with the ball so easily. So yeah, I definitely do recommend the Shadow Chem style. Yet it is, yes, it is nice to get the extra physical boost with the anchor. But I'll be honest, I didn't really see his 99 strength coming to play as often as I would like to. So I felt like it was kind of just a little bit of a waste. So yeah, Shadow, 100% away to go. Transition speed on as well on this card. Well, yeah, it was, it was insane. Straight up insane. The passing ability. The thing that I really like about his passing ability is he can pass on both feet perfectly. It is so, so good to work with in that centre-back position especially. Like, there was only one pass that I think he screwed up. Every other pass was spot on. Dribbling ability. Now, another thing I did enjoy because he's not like a Sule, okay? He's not like this player right here where you have to keep it simple. You can't go for too many twists and turns because you're, you're going to end up losing a ball. With Gavardial, you can go for a few twists and turns, accelerate into spaces as well, feel comfortable on the ball with him and know that he's not going to take like a terrible touch and end up losing the ball in a stupid area. No, you can go for a few dribbles and feel comfortable with him. So yeah, dribbling ability, another thing I really did enjoy. The defending ability. There was a few tackles that weren't possession-based, which I wasn't really happy with, but like that was maybe 10% of his tackles. 90% of his tackles were possession-based and he was coming out of it really nicely. The interceptions as well, just just sticking to his feet. He didn't take one bad touch as far as I remember when it came down to the interceptions. It just stuck to his feet and it allowed me to move the ball really quickly. So yeah, the defending, insane. And the physicals. As I told you guys, he got into way more shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder situations with the Shadow Chem style applied because he was catching up the players way easier, okay? So he could use that strength. With the Anchor Chem style, obviously his strength was still really, really good. It's just I didn't see him use it as often as I did when he had the Shadow Chem style applied. But yeah, the physicals, super nice. You guys saw like the near the end of the gameplay, he was pushing players out the way for pretty much fun. Now the price, 160k. 160,000 coins for this card is amazing pricing. Amazing pricing. It's so so good price. So yeah, 100%, it is worth it. Where does he go in the defender's tier list? S tier. When you apply the Shadow Cam style, 100% he is S tier. He is a joke of a centre-back. Is he the best centre-back in the Bundesliga? Would I take him over a player like Sule? I would. The reason I say that is because with Sule, yes, he's got that six foot five reach and yes, it is really nice to work with. And yes, his tackling ability is better than Gavardio's. But like he's dribbling with it, he is so annoying to work with. It really is. So yeah, I definitely would take this card over Sule. Would I take this card over a player like Foot Fantasy Hinkapi? I would as well. Even though Hinkapi gives you everything this card gives you, uh, the weak foot. Hinkapi's got a two-star weak foot. And you guys know that is annoying time to time. When you're passing on a two-star weak foot, you never know where that pass is going to go. Well, Gavardio has got a four-star weak foot. Now, the real challenge here is team of the season and Dicker. This guy is a joke with his six foot, four, six foot four reach. Do I believe this card is better than Team of the Season and Dicker? No. So I think he's second, okay? I think that card is first and this card is second. But still, Gavardio 100% deserves to go into the S tier. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.